You're watching KBJR6 News Today with CeCe Gaines, Ryan Half, and weather with meteorologist Adam Lorch on KBJR6, your weather authority. Welcome back. The time is 6:11. We all know that laughter is the best medicine. And in this week's Today on the Job, CeCe and I couldn't stop laughing when we sat down with a local ventriloquist and his puppets. Today on the job, Ryan and I visited oh, yeah, I Jeremy Leapak, a well-known ventriloquist in Duluth. Can, it's a passion um, that stemmed from his love of movies like Night of the Living Dummy and Goosebumps, <laughs> but his curiosity for the art truly right, peaked right, when he see. discovered popular American ventriloquist Jeff Dunham. Since then, Leapak has been learning and perfecting his craft for the past 12 years. The personality is so much different than your personality, you know. Here I am, I'm this young guy full of energy, and I'm just this geriatric old fellow. <laughs> Hello, are you my nurse? No, no, no. <laughs> Not me. No. <laughs> I'm the hottest hound on hospice. No, no, stop. He's also made quite the impression on the community. I do any kind of show. I do retirement shows. Uh, I do birthday parties, private parties, banquets. Pretty much anything. George, come on. Oh, God, he was licking a funny face at me. He was not. He was licking a funny face at me. He thinks he's the only one who can lick a funny face. Well, what, what are you talking about? I can lick a funny face, too. How's that go? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Lee Peck also says ventriloquy has allowed him to meet people from all around the world. When Ryan and I stepped on stage, we quickly learned that the mechanics of ventriloquy is a process to master. Ventriloquism is like substitute sounds, so there's letters you cannot do without moving your mouth, which is uh, like B and P and M. So, you know, you close your lips when you do those. Uh, to do those, you do a substitute letter. So, for instance, for B, you do uh, D, and you use your tongue to press, like, the back of your teeth on the, so on the hard palate of your mouth. So you do, like, a B kind of a thing. So, you know, buzzing bundle D, you know, things like that. Um, for, like, letter P, it's a T. Uh, same principle on the back of your teeth, so, you know, T. But uh, when you're starting out, you're going to hear those replacement letters, and they're very obvious. Mm. You know, you got all these levers on these hard ones, uh, so you can move his mouth there. He's got his eye movement there on the front. Uh, he's got blinking. His eyes can widen like that. Uh, he can move his upper lip, and he can wiggle his nose with that back one. Ah, I'm getting kind of the headache up here. <laughs> Lee Pack teaches others in the community ventriloquism, so Ryan and I were in good hands when we started learning. Yeah, they're, the heads aren't attached. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You're just getting a chiropractic adjustment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I don't know why I'm like breathing hard. It's <laughs> heavy lifting. Nary had a let a lamb. That was pretty good, Sheldon. We're, we'll work on it. Uh, okay. Uh. Makes me laugh to see other people using them. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, you're Luck embarrassing me. <laughs> Luck Lucky. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> you won't be seeing these guys on stage anytime soon. Ryan and I enjoyed our time in front of an audience today on The Job. And Jeremy has a show this afternoon at Keystone Bluffs, and then in July he will be on the main stage opening night at the International Ventriloquist Convention. We'll soon have a link set up on our website where you can learn more about his shows. And of course, you can always catch Today on the Job with CC and I every Friday morning right here on KBJR6.